Hey everyone, I hope you're having a great day. Uh, today Bishop Sheen gives us some wonderful bits of wisdom uh, that we can live by about becoming a saint and what it takes to be a saint and how we become a saint. And uh, he reminds us that most saints did not think they were saints. Most saints thought they were sinners, big sinners, uh, far often, far from being the perfect person, the perfect model that other people should follow. They were very self-reflected on their own faults, their own shortcomings uh, in front of uh, our, our God and Savior. But Bishop King reminds us that what we are called to do, of course, is to live our life in holiness, live our life in goodness, live our life in, in the blessing and the sharing of who we are with each other in the goodness of God. That's how we become a saint. And often it's unconscious things because we train our moral character to do good. I mean, at first we're very conscious of it when we choose to do good. I think we can talk about, you know, a newly, a new couple, right? They get to know each other and they're very conscious about doing good for one another. But as they continue in their relationship, as they become more serious and then entering into their courtship, those good things we pray naturally pile upon each other. Right, naturally grow in the hope and love of God. And then ultimately, in their engagement and in their marriage, they come to the fullness of this where the goodness of who they are is multiplied in the goodness of their spouse, of their intended, of their lover. And in doing that, they are unconscious of it. Now, of course, the trouble being, being unconscious of something is we can very quickly slip into bad behaviors. And so, so that fine balance that we have to, to, uh, to, to, uh, to walk, to, to keep in our lives is that fine balance of, of choosing to do good, but not choosing to do good because of ourselves, but choosing to do good because of others. Uh, I like the last part that Bishop Sheen writes. He says, you know, a child is cute as long as, until it, he knows that he's cute, then he becomes a brat, right? That idea that when we become unconscious, but when, you know, if we're doing good for our, our husband all the time or our wife all the time, we say, and we brag about it all the time to our friends, like, oh, today I did this for my wife. I did it. That's not being the saint. That's being the, the selfish one who says, look at me, look at me, look at me, rather than saying, my beloved is before me. How may I serve her or him? And really, that's what God asks us to do. My beloved is before me on the cross. My beloved is before me in the Eucharist. My beloved is before me in my prayer. How may I serve you? And I serve you through works of mercy, through prayer, and through acts of kindness and generosity to all. Anyways, thank you, God, for this beautiful day. Thank you, God, for this moment of blessing. And thank you most of all, God, for my life and the life of all. I wish you all very well today. Have a great day, and God bless you. And stay safe, okay?